Eve Kid back here. And then I want to do something a bit different. I want to talk about a Kickstarter campaign that obviously I've recently bagged and recently found. Obviously, I showed this footage in my previous video. But I want to talk about The Legend of Calamity Jane. You know, it's this Kickstarter project which obviously I, I, recently, <laughs> I recently found out about. And I found it really interesting. So let's take a look at it and give my thoughts. So, here's the campaign. Uh, the gunslinging, bull whip, toting, cowboy girls back, The Legend of Calamity Jane. It was in September 1997, Warner Brothers Studios debuted The Legend of Calamity Jane, an Old West themed anime kids series that appeared on its kids WB slate on children's programming. A co production of Warner Brothers TV animation with France based gangster productions. <laughs> a, 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 gangster, a company called Gangster Productions making stuff for kids. Uh, Country Alley and Canal Plus. And set in and around Deadwood, South Dakota, in 1870s, it presented a heavy fictionalized, he heavily stylized take on the lifetimes of real life, gun, real life Martha Jane Can Canary, a gunslinging bullet toting cowgirl who was famously known around the world as Calamity Jane. Okay, we don't really care who. Uh, okay, uh, uh, the series starred Barbara Scarf, Valerine, and his The of Thousand Planets as the voice of. Of Jane, joined by Frank W. Welker, Transformers Freddy, Fred of Scooby Doo fame. Oh, yeah, that's recognise him. As Jane's sidekick, Joe Presto, Clancy Brown, Superman the Animated Series, as Wild Bill Hickok, Tim Matheson, Johnny Quest, Animal House, as Captain John O'Rourke, and Michael Horace, Twin Peaks Claws, as Commerce Com Tribe Leader, Chief Kanat Walker. Supporting roles were performed by such foreign actors as Mark Hamill, yeah, he doesn't love Mark Hamill. Robert Patrick, Billy West, and Luke Perry. Okay. Though only three of them then in the United States in the years that followed, The Legend of Comedy Jane built a world where it was with children, now adults, who saw those US episodes or watched the entire run of as Canada, France, the UK, Italy, South America, Spain, and Portugal, Switzerland, and Finland, and it's friendly to contemporary animation fans who discover low res fuzzy transfers posted on the internet. Now it's time to celebrate the series' 25th anniversary in 2022. Calamity Jane rides again with a special edition Kickstarter for a special box set, including a special edition comic book to continue Calamity's story after the end of season one. Okay, so to this, it sounds like obviously they've done a little bit of history. We know a little bit about the show. I'm not sure. I've I grew up with. I was born in 2003, so the show was long gone before I was I was born. So. Yeah, uh, for years the English, trans the English version of the series was thought to be lost. Some episodes appeared on the, very the web in very low quality VHS rips. However, we have secured all episodes masters and have digitised them and preserved them for this DVD release. That's good. Obviously, if those who don't know Pico Interactive is one doing this re-release, uh, they obviously do a lot of stuff like this. They do the same with Stone Protectors. Additionally, thanks to the community members, we have the original Flash website. Launched to promote the show, the website worked kind of like point and click adventure game. Unfortunately, it was never fully finished, but we have prepared a walkthrough video and we'll be filling out the special features of the DVD. Okay, that's pretty cool. We'll be offering two versions of the DVD one regular edition DVD, which will include only the 13 episode series in two discs, and a special edition box, which obviously that's one I've backed, which will have a special edition sleeve featuring the artwork. Comic book two discs for the animated series episodes and a third disc for bonus features. Bonus features include a 30 minute video featuring the lost uh, official Calamity Jane flash as a video walkthrough, an usual Calamity Jane autobiography voiced by Barbara Webb Scarf, who is obviously the voice actor of Calamity Jane. This included versions of the autobiography, which will feature original public photos of Martha Jane Canary, alias Calamity Jane. The special edition set will also include a certificate of authenticity and the Calamity Jane's Devil Herself comic book. Our bonus features will be added to the, to the special edition TD boxes that I set as stretch goals are met. And obviously we've got some images of the, sh of the show. Okay. Uh, and then it goes on. Oh, the Legend of Comic Jane, The Devil Herself, is a brand new, new 28 page full color comic written by Stephen A. Roman, best selling author of the original novels X Men The Chaos Engine Trilogy. Never heard it. I found a such Dead Man's Hand. And it's written colored by Elise Guerra. Artists of such kind of the Stargate Universe, Black Destiny, and okay, this actually seems the comic. Okay, it's a comic stretch goals. For those you know, they're only asking for fifteen grand to to complete this. So, if we twenty five grand, we will illustrate DVD or photography of Clumpy Jane. Okay. If we reach thirty five grand, we will convert the comic into a motion comic. 
So we have the Ultra Wood Burns. If we reach 80k, we would love a retro style video game based on Family Jane anime series. Okay, that seems pretty cool. If we reach $120, we will develop a Tiger Electronic style handheld for the Family Jane video game. This award will be available at an actual discount cost of all backers. If we reach $215,000, we will produce a Company Jane Posable Action Figure. Okay. If we reach six hundred and fifteen thousand, we'll produce a new comic episode, a new episode of Legend of Comic Jane show, fully animated. This will be available to all backers of the special edition box set, to include on bonus feature disc as a prologue. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. FAQs, uh, risks. Yeah, okay. The risks obviously is going to be it could be delayed. So, what do I think about it as well? To me, this seems pretty cool. Like, this is a, obviously a show I never grew up with. I never saw the show growing up. So, when I saw Pico tweet this, I was like, hey, I'm going to back this. It seems interesting. I watched this little trailer thing they put out for it. And, I don't know. I, I've never heard the show, but obviously I've backed it. I've to get the special edition box set. So, I will have it in my collection. I don't really buy DVDs in my collection. I'll buy DVDs. I don't really collect that sort of stuff. But I've decided I'm going to get this one. Just for the sake of owning it, just so I can have a version of this show, because obviously it was lost. I never even knew it existed until uh, Pika made a paid campaign. Made a campaign, so you know, if you, if you want to back it, there'll be a link in the description. I mean, does this interest you? If it doesn't interest you, let me know in the comments down below. I might do some more of these uh, videos in the future. Anyway, if you're new here, make sure you like, share, subscribe. I've been Ethan. I'm signing out. Peace.